Hey everyone, just going to run you through some training that I did out in California and then now out here in Colorado while I'm on vacation. So first some benching, worked up to 315 rep out. And what I'm trying to do with my bench and my deadlift in this transition period between competitions when I'm not really doing a set program to prep for a meet is I'm trying to make 315 on my bench and 500 on my deadlift sort of like my baseline strength with the idea that any day of the week I can come in and hit those lifts hit those weights for at least one clean rep that would pass in competition so that was three I'm not I don't know if the guy actually touched the bar in the last one maybe he did maybe he didn't I don't know after that 135 I think I dropped it down to 225 and I did four sets of eight with 225 all reps paused three or four sets of eight and then I did this 135 rep out just cuz and I uh, got that sweet tricep and pec pump. It was awesome. So I think this is 15 reps or something like that with 135. That bench right there is an elite FTS bench. It's awesome. So the next day I went out to Colorado, go up to um, my in-laws cabin and uh, shooting some BB guns like an OG. And like an OG, I missed the first shot, but I'm pretty awesome and I get the next three. So. You know, I'm not just good at lifting weights, I'm pretty good at shooting BB guns, because that's what a man does, goes up in the mountains and shoots pink daisy BB guns. This is pretty awesome. And I had a bunch of steak too, so that kind of cancels out the BB gun shooting, but it was a good time. And a bow and arrow, a kid's bow and arrow. Nothing gets manlier than that. So then go back down to the Denver area from the mountains, go to Armburst. This is kind of like my home gym away from home that I lift at in my hometown. It's also the gym that Phil Heath trains at. So I went to Armburst. This is my first day training in Colorado, and I met uh, another guy named Nathan, which you'll see uh, here. I know him from the interwebs, and he happened to be on vacation in Colorado too, so we're like, hey, why not lift together? The dude competes in strongman. He's an amateur lightweight strongman. It's like 175 pounds or less. So I'm just doing squats. Like, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Nathan, on the other hand, his programming is crazy. And so he's doing squats, working up to a heavy double, which I think was like 345 or something like that. But he was supersetting it with tire flips. And so he'd be like, winded, come in, squat, do tire flips. Come in, squat, do tire flips. It was insane and then he dropped down to this 295 rep out and no belt or anything like that we're roughly about the same size um, so probably like three feet tall 175 pounds roundabout and uh, so just show you some of his lifts like I said he competes in strongman so you know his whole mentality is just get the weight up and that's totally fine and I'm totally jealous of his overhead strength the dude can log press for reps more than what I can on a straight bar for one. one so even though I might be able to squat more than him or deadlift more than him his overhead ability is ridiculous so after the squats I did some deadlifts and so did Nathan uh, I worked up to 455 doing the hook grip which hurt like crazy you can actually see me wince because my thumbs are getting chopped off um, but this is like a 90 pound PR on my hook grip. Last week I did it for 365 or something like that. So just gradually trying to work up using the hook grip. It's one of those things that I knew would be beneficial. But I kind of put off doing it because it's really painful. So then I work up to this 500 pound pull. I get this for three. Not really satisfied with the way that this felt. It looks good, but at the same time, if I want the 500 pounds to be this baseline level of strength that I'm talking about, you know, I would like it to be really, really easy. Like, I would want 500 deadlift to be something like I can pull sick or injured. So the 500 pounds, it got up, but I really would like those three reps to be a little bit cleaner. Then today, this morning, went back to Armburst and, you know, did some more benching. It wasn't feeling as strong as what I would have liked it's because maybe I did I did some shoulder press yesterday so that may have had something to do with it I didn't do a lot of volume but I worked up to like a 205 single which was pretty hard 
So here with the 315, the pauses feel pretty good. I got this for three last week. This is only two. I only had about five and a half hours of sleep, so that probably had something to do with it, I'm sure. And then I did five sets of three reps with 275 as a, a drop set. Each rep paused on that, and I'm not using my my elbow cuffs, which seem to be really helping with the in inflammation and the pain that I'm having in my elbow. I'm not using my wrist straps either. And then I did a super set of incline bench, really light, with long pauses. This is the last set. And I super set this with some dead hang chest to bar pull ups. So just pulling my chest all the way to the bar. Then I did a bunch of other bodybuilding stuff because you have to do bodybuilding workout in a bodybuilding gym. I mean, if Phil Heath trains here, you might want to train like Phil Heath, otherwise, they're going to kick you out. So the legend has it. So I did some behind the neck pressing for high reps, some body weight dips for high reps, supersetted with curls, and I did a bunch of face pulls and just got that sweet upper body pump. Thanks for watching.